Welcome back to another edition of Myth Badger Videos. Let's take the worm and wheel that we built for a prior video and talk a little bit more about the mechanics for how it works. So before we do anything else, as always, let's take a look at our input and output. So looking at this system, which of these do you feel is the input and the output? If you predicted that the worm is the input, you would be correct. The handle is attached to the worm, so turning the handle puts it power into the system making our input down here and our output is the wheel. Very good. Now let's take a look at the drive shafts. So we have a drive shaft sitting here and we have another drive shaft sitting there, which means we actually have a perpendicular or 90 degree angle between the two drive shafts. This is helpful because this gear is useful if you have to turn a corner or need to work in a tight space at two different angles. But there is a little bit of an issue about using this any time you need to rotate an angle. And that's going to be the gear ratio itself. So to understand the gear ratio, we need to look a little bit more about how this operates. So when I turn, look at the wheel or the worm. Notice that the worm is not shifting up, down, left, or right. It's just staying in place. That spiral means that it's forcing the wheel to turn, but it's not actually moving the worm. It's just spinning it. So this stays in place. That makes the gear ratio for this a little bit more interesting to do. So I'm going to put the handle here straight up. To understand the gear ratio a little bit more, we need to examine what actually is happening here. So as I turn this, I want you paying attention to how far the wheel actually turns for one full rotation. Okay, so let's get going. Did you notice that? That wheel only moved one groove. Only one tooth moved over for one full rotation here. So that means that to turn this all the way around, we need to figure out how many teeth are on this gear. And if we were to count this out, we would find there's 24 teeth on here. So let's think about that for a second. If there's 24 teeth here and one full rotation of the worm only moved the wheel one tooth, what would be our gear ratio? Ah, very good. You may notice that for this, if we were to do it, 24 rotations are needed to move this one full turn around. So what does that tell us? Is this gear system geared for torque or for speed? If you're saying it's geared for torque, you would be correct, because we're clearly not getting speed out of that output, which means this is great if you need a high torque uh, mechanism. Okay, so continuing on a little bit more. One of the questions is, is the flow of power in this reversible? In other words, can I turn the wheel and make the worm turn? So let's try moving this to the other handle, and you tell me what you think. Uh, you may notice that I can't turn it at all, which means that this gear does not have a reversible flow of power. However, what about the direction of travel? Well, I can go this way, or I can go this way. So this gear does have a reversible direction of travel, just not a reversible flow of power. Okay, so you can see that this gear is a little bit interesting um, in how it operates. So I, I like on this one to talk about where we might actually see this gear. And I think a very easy visual for most people is going to be to visualize a guitar. In fact, visualizing the um, tuning mechanism of the guitar. If you look up at the headstock, you'll find that there's all those little kind of bolts and uh, you turn the bolts but then there's a piece where the strings for the guitar is wrapped around so when you turn the handle it's actually tightening that string or loosening that string around the, the uh, bolt or the, the I guess in that case a, a wheel of some kind and that is what allows the guitar string to be tuned so that's a great example of this and it's a very easy um, visual. And that's also a great example of how you need a high torque. You don't actually want speed. If you have speed in that system, the guitar string is likely going to break. 
Okay, so that completes our examination of Worm and Wheel. Thank you for watching. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified of all of our other gear videos when they post or any other tutorials here at Myth Badger Videos. Thank you.